Hi everyone, welcome to part 9 in my video series featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. In this segment, I will be showing you how to change out your sewing machine needle. I will be showing you several different specialty needles and how to use them. And I will be sharing a tip on how I dispose of my needles after I'm finished using them in my sewing machine. Here's a view of your machine from the front needle bed of your sewing machine. The first thing I'd like to show you when removing your sewing machine needle is to shut off the power to your machine. This is to avoid any unfortunate accidents that may occur. The second thing that I always do when I'm removing or inserting a needle into my machine is remove the presser foot from your machine. This gives you a little bit more area to maneuver the needle out of your machine and a new needle into your machine. The next thing I want you to notice is this screw on the needle shaft. Loosen that screw to the left and your needle will come out of your machine. The last thing I like to do is remove the thread. This is just in case the needle may fall down or may tumble away that it will still be attached and you can find the needle and then you can remove it and either dispose of it properly or remove it for later. When you're ready to insert a new needle into your machine, take a look at your needle and notice that there's a flat side and there's a rounded side. Now this machine, you need to have the flat side facing toward the back of the sewing machine. Insert that back into the the shank and tighten the screw set. Now I don't take a screwdriver and really tighten that down too much. I like to have it finger tightened so that I can take it out easily and insert a new needle easily. But it is a good rule of thumb to check every now and then as you're sewing just to make sure that that screw set stays tight and your needle stays in position properly. A good way to always check to make sure that you've inserted your needle all the way up into the needle shaft is to use your automatic needle threader and thread your needle. If that little hook in the mechanism comes straight through the eye of the needle like it's supposed to, it will align properly and thread your needle. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different specialty needles that are available for use in your sewing machine. This is a regular sewing machine needle and I'd like you to notice that this is a wing needle and compare the two and you can see how much thicker the wing needle is here in my left hand than the regular sewing machine needle on my right hand. Now this is called a wing needle because on either side of the shaft there are these little protrusions that look like wings. Now when this is inserted into the machine and sewn with a particular decorative stitch in your machine, this needle will penetrate the fabric and will leave holes behind as it sews. The other type of specialty sewing needle I would like to show you are double needles. Double needles are needles that are two separate needles to be threaded separately on a single shank at the top. So this particular needle is inserted into the machine and two threads come down to create two separate thread lines. These machine needles are very common and here is another one in a different width. This one in my left hand, the two needles are 3 16ths of an inch apart, and this one in my right hand are an eighth of an inch apart. These come in many, many different varieties. They come in wider varieties as well as triple needle varieties. Here's the front display of my machine. I have it set up to do stitch number 40, which is an X pattern, and I have foot B inserted into my machine. Now the only change that I'm going to make is in the width of my stitch. Notice that it's default set to 6 millimeters. 
and I'm going to set it to 7, which is the widest that it will stitch. Here I am at the front of my machine, and I have my fabric inserted into my machine. I have my foot B on my machine, and the wing needle is already inserted into the machine. Now this is the regular woven poly cotton that I use for all my demonstrations. So I'm going to lower the presser foot and show you what it looks like to stitch with a wing needle. Now this kind of stitching is typically used for heirloom quality stitching, for children's clothes, heirloom quality pillows, and things of that nature. Now it's not suggested to use your automatic cutters with this particular needle inserted. So I'm going to raise my needle and use the cutter on the side of my machine. Now if you notice, there's a small hole in the center of the stitch where the thread penetrated and the needle penetrated the fabric. Now if this was an even looser uh, woven fabric like a linen or something of that nature you would even get bigger holes as you stitch along. Now here is stitch number 40 that I used as my demonstration stitch. But there are many different stitches here in the top cover of the machine that you can explore and try to use the wing needle with and see what kind of effects you get. This is the front display of your machine once again. If you notice on the bottom row, the second button in, there's a picture of a twin needle. Press that button. Now you can see it's set up to do a center needle straight stitch. It suggests using foot A and it shows a little picture of a double needle. The next thing you need to do to set it up to do twin needle stitching is to set up your spool pin into this hole on the top of your machine. Now from there, you can set your second spool of thread and then thread both of your threads through the machine as usual. Here I am back at the needle bed of the machine and I have foot A, your general purpose sewing foot set onto your machine. I have the twin needle an eighth of an inch apart inserted into the machine and threaded. The left needle is threaded with red thread, and the right needle is threaded with pink thread. I have the machine set up to a straight stitch. But on this machine, you have many, many stitches to choose from to get different effects. So I'm going to change to stitch number 29 which is a nice scallop stitch for you to see one of the decorative stitches that you could use with your twin needle. Here's the straight stitch and there's the scallop stitch. I would like to give you one word of caution when you're using a double needle to stitch on your machine. Now, on page 86 of the manual, Twin Needle Sewing, it says that you can use all patterns except for numbers 101 through 116, which are your eyelet and all of your darning and buttonhole stitches. The thing that I'd like to caution you about is the width of the opening on your foot A. You cannot exceed that width when the needle goes from left to right. So 
When you select a stitch, just make sure by turning your hand wheel up and down as it goes from left to right to make sure that you're not hitting your presser foot. The last thing I'd like to share with you about needles is proper disposal of your needles. What I use is a small candy sprinkles jar left over and I just drop my needles right in this jar so that there's no opportunity for those needles to find anybody's foot. I know it sounds silly, but it always seems to happen. So just be safe and dispose of it in a little jar like this or something similar, and then nobody will complain to you about a needle in the foot. Well, thank you for tuning in to part nine, all about needles, and taking a moment to view my video. I always appreciate it. Have a happy creative day. Bye now.